Okay, new equipment. So this is actually kind of a, well, it's old equipment, but I got it on a new thing. So I put it on this cart and uh, it's not really a space saver, but it's a time saver and uh, it's way more convenient. So you can see I, I now have two of the CADCO hot plates and two of the PID controllers. So I have the 30 step ramp soak. Okay, and then I have just the timer one, which is just set temperature, set time. So I have the 30 step on this one. And the reason why I have it to where it's running mostly agar and it'll run the cycle and then it'll hold it around 150, 160 once the cycle's done. So like if I'm instructing a class or I'm just working busy, whatever, I can hit run, let it sterilize. Once it's done sterilizing, it'll be ready to pour for the next one to four hours. You know, I can just pour whenever I want. Whereas typically you'd have to catch it as it's cooling and pouring, you know, time it perfectly um, to where, you know, you're pouring about an hour to 40 minutes after the pressure cooker shuts off. Um, also, I can easily jump to another program where I, if I am running spawn bags, let's say I want to run, you know, nine bags in here and four or five bags in here for like a total of like 80 or 90 pounds of spawn. I can run that and all I do is just jump to a different step because that's how it works as 30 steps. So I have like step one through four is for bags and then steps five through like eight or nine is for agar. So I'll just jump from one step one to step five. And I'll do another video just on programming these because that's kind of dry and confusing even to me. So I've had this for three or four years now and it's still confusing. I've actually had more than that, I've had like five years and it's still confusing. So um, there's a lot of programming mumbo jumbo in there. So then um, I have the 30 step over here and then for that pressure cooker, which is just running the spawn, that's it. Just, it's like 240 Fahrenheit for, I think it's like 150 or 160 minutes. I just have a timer cycle one to where it's much easier to program. There's only one time, one temperature, and that's it. I can change it, but I have to manually go in there and change the settings. But for stuff like that, like that pressure cooker only ever runs that cycle. Um, you can also see the cart, the main thing with the cart, and you don't need to have the PIDs to use the cart with the cooktops. You would just have to be constantly adjusting them. The, the main advantage of the cart is, especially with an all-American pressure cooker, I used to previously, let me just adjust the camera. I used to previously have the hot plate up here and then the pressure cooker up there and the, the opening, the top of the pressure cooker is all the way up here. So one, unloading, you're not actually in the flow. And then also getting those bottom bags in and out. Like I'm 6'2 and I'm still standing on my tippy toes getting those last bags out. So I can imagine for those few people that are five foot or you know, not vertically challenged as they put it, it's a lot harder. So this is at perfect working height for unloading and loading and uh, it puts it all in the flow to when you're unloading the bags you're in that workflow of the of the airflow um, so yeah and also another added feature is the fact that this is metal so you wouldn't want to do this on a plastic cart because it might melt it you know you don't want to heat up have a hot plate sitting on a, on a plastic cart um, See, so yeah, that's pretty much it. All the wires on here are 12 gauge. It's 25 amp relay, or 25 amp uh, solid state relays. And then these are the solid state relay drive option um, controllers. And uh, what I do is when, I, when it's done cycling, the lids, they're kind of tethered on a short leash here, but it's just enough to where I can lift the, these up and put them right under here. Oh, that actually needs to untangle that. But yeah, they sit under there. So that's where they stay. Um, and then once I unload it, I just take the whole thing and kick it off to the side. I don't need to like break it down like I used to. I used to have to take the pressure cooker, put it under, take the hot plate, put it away, take the PID, unplug it. You know, it was a pain in the butt. So it's a lot more convenient. Um, some people were asking, why am I using a Presto rocker on the All-American pressure cooker? And the reason why is the All-American pressure cooker rocker, if you're familiar with it, it kind of does a hissy thing where it'll like build up pressure and then release pressure. Well, that's actually the temperature fluctuating as well too. So this makes it to where it can maintain the temperature within a tenth of a degree because the pressure is the, the same. Um, yeah, with these, and with these CAD codes, I know in my other video, uh, where I go over uh, drilling and tapping the lid here. 
I, I say to hack another cheaper hot plate, I would recommend against that because I had that one popped on me. And uh, these CADCOs, yes, they're a little more expensive, but they work right out of the box fine. And you don't have to worry about it melting down or, or failing on you or catching fire. So um, yeah, these, these CADCOs are industrial units. They can bear the weight of a fully loaded all-American pressure cooker with like 60 pounds of spawn in it. So you don't have to worry about that, like reinforcing or anything like that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, hopefully you like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Keep on mushrooming. I'll put a link below for all these, all this stuff, all the, uh, the controller. I'll put the video for how to build the controller because I have a video on how to wire it. Not necessarily how to build it, but the wiring. That's the important part. And uh, yeah, check it out on kit.com. Help support my channel. And if you also want to support my channel, patreon.com. You can support just because, or you can support and get a little bit of one-on-one -on -one with me uh, chatting back and forth. Um, also, if you're interested in one-on-one -on -one consulting, I offer that on an hourly basis. And uh, I'm fully, fully uh, booked on my classes, but hopefully I'll have some classes opening up in the next couple weeks for the springtime. So keep on mushrooming. Have a good one.